If you think that mouthwash or a pack of mints is the real solution to bad breath, you might be missing the bigger picture. Those things often just mask the odor for a little while, but they don't get rid of what's actually causing it. But don't worry, in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you five proven tips that attack the actual source of bad breath so you can feel confident all day long. To beat bad breath, you have to know your enemy. It mostly comes from three places. Bacteria, building up in your mouth and throat, the foods you eat, and build up on and between your teeth. The great news is, these tips are designed to cover all three of those areas. Tip number one, the morning scrape. You know that stubborn morning breath that sometimes sticks around even after you brush? A big reason for that is the bacteria that builds up in the back of your throat overnight. Instead of just brushing, try eating something solid for breakfast before you head out the door, like a piece of toast or a banana. When you eat, the food physically scrapes a lot of those bacteria off your throat and carries them down to your stomach, effectively cleaning the area your toothbrush can't reach. Tip number two, clean more than just your teeth. Ask yourself, when you brush, are you only brushing your teeth? Bacteria don't just hang out on your teeth. They love to hide on your tongue and on the inside of your cheeks. So make it a habit to gently brush your tongue from back to front and give the insides of your cheeks a quick brush too. It makes a huge difference. Tip number three, you smell like what you eat. This one seems obvious, but it's important. Foods with strong odors like garlic and onions, as well as coffee and smoking, create smells that can't just be brushed away. That's because their odor compounds are absorbed into your bloodstream and released through your lungs when you breathe. A mint can't fix that. Just remember, an onion will always win a fight against a mint. Also, be aware that some medications or vitamin supplements can affect your breath too. Tip number four. Go between the lines. Your toothbrush is great, but it can't reach the tight spaces between your teeth. Tiny food particles get trapped in there and start to break down, releasing some really unpleasant odors. The only way to get them out is by flossing. Make sure you floss at least once a day, especially before bed. A water flosser can also be a powerful ally here, helping to blast out debris, but it's a great partner to regular floss, not a replacement. And tip number five, call in the professionals. No matter how well you brush and floss at home, some plaque will eventually harden into something called tartar. And once it's there, your toothbrush can't remove it. The only way to safely get rid of tartar is with a professional dental cleaning. The standard recommendation is every six months, but if bad breath is a persistent problem for you, consider going every three or four months to stay ahead of it. And while professional cleanings are non-negotiable for removing hardened tartar, what if the real root cause of bad breath, cavities, and gum disease is something that even those cleanings can't fully eliminate? Researchers have recently uncovered a hidden bacterial biofilm that traditional methods can't touch. But there's a simple five-second oral flush you can do at home that dissolves this film and tackles the problem at its source. If you want to see the science behind this and how it works, just pull out your phone and point your camera at the QR code on the screen right now. I've also put a direct link in the pinned comment below. Now, regardless of anything else, there's one foundational habit that supports all of these strategies, and it might be the most important of all, staying hydrated. A dry mouth is a perfect breeding ground for smelly bacteria. Your saliva is your body's natural defense. It washes away food particles and neutralizes the acids that cause bad breath. If you're not convinced, try this little experiment. Take a clean metal spoon, lick the back of it, let the saliva dry for a few seconds, and then smell it. That distinct odor? That's what your breath smells like when your mouth is dry. The solution is simple. Sip water throughout the day to keep everything fresh. So. Let's recap quickly. Eat something solid in the morning, clean your entire mouth, be mindful of strong foods, floss every single day, see your dentist for regular cleanings, and most importantly, stay hydrated. Bad breath isn't something you just have to live with. 
By tackling the root causes, you can have fresh, confident breath. If you found these tips helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more straightforward health tips. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.